Heading towards Mount Shasta, I had a simple plan on my mind. Find trout and fish for them as much as possible. In retrospect, it's pretty clear that my plan was too simple. On my first day, I knew I wouldn't have my kayak, so I went to scout out the lake on foot, fish for smallmouth, and find where the trout were sitting. I think I'm gonna start right off at that point. See if I can get any smallies out of that deep spot. I think I might go down that arm because I think it's deeper over there. I also think there's a pretty good chance that the smallies will be on the other bank over there because it looks like it drops really fast and it's like a rocky, sandy bank. So I'll probably try and get over there at some point, but I think I'm going to move down that way first. What is happening? Is my drag slipping? I don't understand. No, I'm getting smoked. Look at that. It's just not biting the whole thing. That looks kind of promising. like a vertebra of some kind. That was cool. Let's see if I can get it to come after it again. You know what? That might be what was hitting my, uh, my Ned. Little green sunfish. That would explain why it couldn't get the hook. Small mouth. There we go. Oh. oh. <laughs> Fuck. Little small mouth. First fish. Goodbye. There it goes. Yeah, this was definitely the right move. There's no people over here, and I think that's going to be absolutely key for finding the fish on this lake. This is also the windblown side of the lake, which is supposed to be good for fishing, as far as I understand. And I think there's an inlet on that side of the lake as well. So I'm hoping I could find trout at that end too. And if not, that's fine. I'll keep to the small mouth, but that would be sweet. Looks like some tadpoles over here. Oh, and frogs. Lots of them. That's cool. There's a catfish. I didn't know there was catfish in this lake. Well, that's cool.
There we go. I finally got it. It's a little smallmouth. <sighs> okay. Here we go. There he goes. <sighs> well, I'm definitely cool with catching those, but I would like to find something bigger at some point. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm just gonna have to find the right spot, I think. To the other side of the lake. I'm not back. This is the first time I've been to this side, but I moved over here because it's way more calm. And, uh, I think I actually have a decent chance over here of getting some good fish. Oh my God, I got followed up by a small mouth. That was a big one. Whoa. I don't know if it bumped me or if I just hit the grass there, but that was crazy. It was probably too deep for the camera to pick it up, but oh my God. That looks incredible. There's some geese right there. Hey, we're good. <laughs> I just broke my tripod, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But one last ditch effort at these uh, smallmouth breaking out this guy. If this doesn't do it, nothing will. So. Breaking my tripod was a huge hit to my plans. Without it, I'd have a really hard time filming this video. After all, I'm only one person, and without a tripod, filming myself would be pretty much impossible. So, I made a change to my plans. I scrapped the original idea for this project, instead opting to drop the cinematic angle and swap my main target species to smallmouth. To start off day two, I hopped in the kayak. Alright, we're out on the kayak today fighting the wind and the waves right now to get to the wind protected bank on that side of the lake. It's not too bad with the pedal drive. So that's the good news. I'm hoping to find some bigger smallies today. Maybe even run into a trout. Probably not because I know they're all sitting deep, but I might get lucky with the smallies. I got followed up that time by a tiny little bass, but regardless, that's nice.
There we go. Finally got a fish on. Feels decent. Oh, it's off. It was a little smallmouth. Damn. Well, good sign at least. Off of this point. How did it come off? <laughs> that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. That's another fish. No, it's not. Tighten my drag a little bit because that fish was not big enough to be pulling as hard as it was. It's honestly surprising that I'm not getting bit that often. Everything about this place is telling me that it should be teeming with hungry smallmouth. And there are smallmouth, but most of them are tiny. And those that aren't, aren't hungry. It's weird. We got a smallie on. Come here. Come up, come up, come up. Ooh, come here, come here, come here. Uh, oh man, these guys fight. Got him. And there we have it. Pretty little small mouth with a bright red eye. It's a little dark, but let's see if we can get some release shot. Ooh, hell yeah. All right. Uh, I'm about to hit a tree here, so let me move. It seems like the Neds is gonna be the way to go, cause they haven't touched the crank today. But the Ned seems to keep getting hit, so. We're gonna work on that assumption. There is a snake right next to me, under a rock with its head sticking up out of the water. I really hope you can see that. That's really cool. There are some big smallmouth right under me. I mean, big relatively. No. Oh, I got it. I got it. Tiny small mouth on here. There we go. Little hungry guy. Ending day two, I was annoyed. I would yet to see a single trout. Although I had decided to fish mainly for smallmouth, I still wanted at least a couple days to fish for trout. 
I had assumed from prior experience that this would be like a high elevation lake where the trout are relatively shallow year round, feeding in inlets and outlets, and accessible by fly. Obviously, that wouldn't be the case, and I would have known that had I done more research. I also wasn't expecting the smallmouth bite to be so difficult considering most people are there to target the trout. Basically, I couldn't find any adult smallmouth. Try some mini tubes today. I don't know that they're any good. Um, I've never used them, but we'll just see. From what I understand, smallmouth like tubes, so hopefully that's the case. We got some straight up white caps out here. I'm just gonna start in this little cove where I caught the first two little smallmouth um, on day one. Chuck the tube around for a bit and uh, we'll see if I can pull anything out of here. And if not, we're just gonna keep rolling down that bank. Hopefully we can find some moving water. Got one on the crank literally right when I turned my camera off. Because of course, that would happen. Let's net this guy just so I'm sure that I don't lose it. What am I stuck on? There we go. Again, I don't understand why the fish in here are so small. It doesn't make sense to me. They, I feel like they should be a lot bigger than this. I'm gonna move along this bank and see if there's any actual moving water in it or not. Looks like there's a pretty deep channel coming out of, uh, I don't even know if this is an inlet or an outlet, but I'm gonna try and fish the edge of this channel uh, where the drop off is. Maybe I can run into some fish over here. Yeah, I'm not seeing much here. I could probably go further up, but I don't think there's much point. It looks too shallow to me. I'm sure there's deeper pools eventually, but I'm not gonna waste my time. These waves are getting pretty big. Like every once in a while, I'll get hit by one that's like close to a foot probably, if not more. I think I'm gonna try and stick to the bank just so that I kind of reduce my risk here because I really don't want to flip. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, shit. As long as I hit him at a diagonal, I shouldn't get bucked off or anything, but... I don't know, maybe I should just cut across back to the other side. Might be safer that way. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna risk this. A lot of stumps under me right now, but there's also grass surrounding me in every direction, so it's hard to make a cast. I 
I got bit, but I have a tiny small mouth. I was just reeling it in. Come here. Tiny little <laughs> small mouth. There we go. That one was really shallow. Oh, there we go. Another tiny small mouth. Oh, he's off. I really don't get it. I don't think I've caught a single one over 12 inches. Oh, I just got slammed. Hit right at the boat, followed it up. Again, tiny, but. That was a trout. Okay, so they are back here. There we go. You're joking. <laughs> that was tiny. Well, at least I know they like it. Actually, let me drop on this tree below me. All right. I gotta get out of here. Capping off day three, I was feeling good. Despite not finding anything of substantial size, I did manage to find the numbers. And honestly, I care a lot more about numbers than size most of the time. After finally spotting some trout as well, I decided to go out the next day and fish that bay for deep trout. So the plan for today is that we're gonna go out in the boat, not the kayak, but the, uh, the John boat, and we're gonna fish deep with some uh, downriggers for the trout. Hopefully that works out. But before we do that, I'm gonna fish this little cove in here.
Is that bottom or a fish? The bottom, wow. Keep him or let him go. Uh, that's a pretty small one. Yeah, pretty small. <sighs> oh, he almost fits through my net. With those two poorly filmed trout catches, my trip was over. Not at all what I was expecting, but not a bad trip either. Just weird. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you enjoy this type of content, uh, be sure to drop me a comment so that I know. To all the lure guys out there, uh, don't worry. I'm working on some lure builds for the uh, near future, so stay tuned for that. I know this wasn't the most polished video like I wanted it to be, but it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.